Welcome to the Vion Podcast. Today we're doing a deep dive into something pretty fascinating, uh, the extinction of woolly mammoths. Yeah, it's a topic we thought we sort of understood, right? Exactly. For ages, the main story has been, you know, climate change, human hunting, the usual suspects. But uh, there's some new thinking emerging. Based on new research suggesting there might be another factor, something quite unexpected. It is. A team... Uh, chemists and zoologists, they were looking at actual frozen mammoth tissue, preserved remains. Wow. Okay. What did they find? Well, this is the interesting part. They found antibodies in the tissue and allergens. Antibodies. So signs of fighting infection. That's part of it, yes. But the allergens point towards something else, too. The researchers, they now think mammoths probably suffered from allergies. Allergies. And woolly mammoths. That sounds, well, odd. It does seem strange at first glance. But think about how vital their sense of smell was. Crucial, I imagine, for finding food, water. And mates. Absolutely essential for survival and, well, continuing the species. Okay, so how do allergies fit in? The idea is pollen. If they were breathing in a lot of pollen, maybe new types they weren't used to. Ah, like hay fever. A blocked nose. Exactly, like an ancient kind of hay fever. Yeah. And if your nose is constantly congested, that really impacts your sense of smell. Right, so if you can't smell properly. You'd struggle. Struggle to find food, maybe miss water sources, and significantly, potentially struggle to locate partners for breeding. Which could, over time, lead to a population decline. Make sense? It could certainly contribute especially when you layer it onto the other pressures they were facing. Did the research suggest why they might have developed these allergies then? Well, it links back to climate change, actually. Around the time they went extinct, roughly 4,000 years ago, the climate was warming. Leading to changes in vegetation. Precisely. New flowering plants might have emerged, releasing different kinds of pollen, maybe more toxic pollen, or releasing it for longer periods. Hmm. So these new plants could have triggered new allergic reactions. That's the hypothesis. They found organic compounds linked to pollen right there in the mammoth remains, suggesting they were definitely inhaling it. So these respiratory issues, the olfactory problems from the pollen, it just made it harder for them to adapt and thrive. Yeah, it adds another complex layer to the extinction story. It's not necessarily the single cause, but potentially a significant contributing factor alongside the climate shifts and human impact we already knew about. It really paints a different picture, doesn't it? Not just giant forces like climate, but something almost yeah. internal, biological vulnerability. It shows how interconnected everything is, the environment, the animals, even their immune systems. So could a blocked nose, effectively, have helped push these Ice Age giants towards extinction. It's definitely a thought-provoking perspective. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come on the Vion Podcast.